get excited because today is moving day! Hey everybody, I'm Kelsey, not Chelsea, and today we thought it would be funny if I tried once more the 100 baby challenge. It's a challenge in The Sims 4 where you have one matriarch and they're supposed to have 100 children, all with different partners. There's a lot of rules to this challenge, so if you're interested in those, that link will be below. Now, last week we had our first twins of season two, and with this ever-growing family, I think a refresh is more than in order. I asked a lot of you, hypothetically, to make me some new homes for the Impeachment May family, so today I'm going to be looking through all those homes, reviewing them, and picking one out for us to move into. I'm very excited to see all of your guys' creativity and also to just judge some homes. So I'm checking into the gallery on The Sims right now and I'm going to check out what all the Impeachment May friends out there have built for our family. This time around we used the hashtag we back baby s2. This is kind of like the first part of home hunting where you like look through all of the ads online, all the Zillows, and then you have to go actually tour the houses. Oh my gosh, so many different options. Let's dive in. So we got suburban family home. This is the perfect home for Kelsey's 100 baby challenge. It comes with a rocket ship for an out of this world experience. Oh my gosh. There are many rooms and plenty of space for everyone. I'm not the best builder, but I tried my best. Oh, well, very good job, Olivia. Thank you so much. So next step. Up, we got Casey's Hollywood Mansion. I mean, Casey would probably be really pumped about having a Hollywood Mansion. I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued. You know what? I'm going to favorite this lot so that we can look at it later. Thank you so much, Wolfie. Ooh, this one's quarantine classic. <laughs> Description, this spacious home features a home office and first floor in suite to help our Casey keep somewhat sane during this challenging time. It includes a backyard pool. Mm -mm. I'm like the Edna Mode from Incredibles. No pulls! Ooh, look at this family factory. I love the name. Very cute. Ooh, it's got a little basement. We've never had a basement before. Three floors, seven bedrooms, four baths. The flowers in the garden earn thousands of simoleons a day. Oh, gardening is a lot of work. I mean, I do it a lot in Animal Crossing. I'm not gonna lie. But Casey doesn't need any money made because she's got a baller trash can. Thank you so much, Macy Lynn. I will definitely check that out. We back, baby, season two. This one's cute. Wow, you did a great job. Katie McDale, 12. This was inspired by Kelsey's 100 Baby Challenge. I made this because We Back Baby S2 begins soon and I can't wait. Aw, thanks guys. Ooh, look at this nice little quaint farmhouse. It's actually not little, it looks huge. There are no fireplaces or grills. Yes. Ooh, look at this green home. How cool. Baby blue family home. This is really cute. Oh, there's like a glass roof. That's pretty cool. Whoa, this one's cool. Look at this. You guys are really creative. I don't even know how you build that. Fully kitted out with everything Casey could need. The deluxe baby factory is a bit of an upgrade. Swankier and minimalist, but still a lot of fun. Ooh, we love a swanky. Ooh, base game baby heaven. I love that this is all base game stuff. That's really cool for anyone looking for a big house. This base game only home is just sprawling and inviting, yet cozy and intimate space. A mistress suite with its own entrance. Sitting room for to woo your next boo. <laughs> Oh, that would crack me up. Do, 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 do. Oh, there's just such a range of style and packs used in all of these. I love that. Let's farm some babies. Whoa, it's got like a full on farm. Holy nuggets. Look at this epic build. Nick O'Leal says, over the hill, no problem. Just head on over to the farm. Is it expensive? Sure it is. <laughs> I wish real homes were sold like this. Is it expensive? Sure it is. But it does come with all the cowbells and whistles. <laughs> the puns are just chef's kiss. Best of all, no pools or grills. <laughs> I definitely want to check out that home. Ooh, baby factory reloaded. Whoa, very 
cool, a modern, spacious home is ready to welcome the iconic and Petrishmi family for season two of the 100 Baby Challenge. The house has no fireplaces, grills, or pools. I really hope you like it. Michelle, it's really cool. I'm very intrigued. I just love the attention to detail you guys are all giving this. Oh, a McMod home. Whoa, this one looks very fun. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, we have so many homes to look at. Thank you guys so much for all of you who submitted fully built homes for my family. I'm gonna check out my library and start placing some of them. All right, our first one, we're gonna see it in the afternoon. Whoa, it has got a lot going on. Okay, so many flowers. There's a little gate right here and a path, a little gnome. Ooh, a whole basketball. Place of a very aggressive looking door, but I like it. A nice little garden, like hangout movie, outdoor movie place, outdoor kitchen. Oh, and some bikes. Oh yeah. So we walk into the front. On the left here, we have a children's activity room. Here is what looks like the Todd room. The kitchen is huge. Got another dining area here with yellow chairs. Casey's bedroom is looking nice and purple and pretty. Ooh, and she's got like this full bathroom that's very fancy. Very good job. Very detailed, love the outside area. Next up is the Sunny family home. Ooh, look at this, very cute curb appeal. Love the amount of flowers. I love the little window baskets, a little yellow happy home. Ooh, this little sun area is really sweet off the side with a hot tub, creative area. Oh, place for the kids to play, my rambunctious scamps. So we walk in the front door. We immediately walk in to a closet, places to put down your stuff, stay a while, bunch of yellow chairs. Then there's the kitchen. The kitchen is so cute. I love that there's already a ton of meals laid out and some glassware. This definitely looks like very lived in, which I really like actually. There's a little baby nursery with room for four. Let's hope we do not have four babies at once. That'd be uh, terrible. I think it's really cute. My one thing is that this, this build is very like lived in, which I really think is like a cool design, but I think sometimes for gameplay, it is a little bit much going on. That's like my only critique. I think it's a really strong build, really beautiful. Definitely a contender. Next, we are going to be looking at the quarantine classic. <laughs> Oh, so good. Woo, okay, the quarantine classic, quite large. Let's check out the outside. We got a wraparound porch that's nice and spacious. What's that? Oh, a large area for people to walk around. No pools in sight. I love this like overgrown green stuff and you obviously put a lot of work into placing these rocks. Good job, you rock. <laughs> we walk in to a fully spacious open floor plan, living, dining, kitchen area. I love these stairs. They're very good job with those stairs. That is really nice. It looks very homey. We got Casey's purple room. I really vibe this Casey's purple room with the with built in with two little things for Hannah and Elliot to be in. I love the, the potted flowers here. That's really nice. Ooh, upstairs, very spacious. We have a bathroom over here, nice and big. Kids room, love a Harry Potter vibe. Up another floor is a bunch of storage. Ooh, very fun. Very classic, 10 out of 10. You guys are gonna make it really hard on me to choose one. Beautiful, oh my gosh. I just love the amount of flowers that you guys are going in on. It makes me happy. Out the front, we have the nice little bench under the tree. Ooh, this is such a cool house. A half basketball court, jungle gym, swings, and what is this, a ping pong table? Heck yeah. All right, let's walk in the front door and see what this place looks like. We got like a place to put all your stuff down. Uh, got a bathroom in the very front of the house which is nice, we go over here, and this is kind of the seating area. Very pretty colors, fun stairs. In here is probably Casey's master bedroom. Very cool, I love the green, nice and fresh and springy. Ooh, this is the place where we can put all the baby birth certificates, we love that, lots of room for it. Let's go upstairs a floor, and here we go, we got some kid rooms, very compact. 
Wow, I can only say positive things about all these builds. Such good jobs. Let's go with Hunter Baby House. Huge home. It just fits this lot. Slip and slide right next to what I assume is a bee hot, what bee box? I didn't even know I had a bee box in this game. What's that, a pool? Actually, that was a really nice pool. I kind of hate to delete it. We walk in to our front area and we got a nice little place to sit down, place to put your coats and your, and your stuff. Thermostat, 10 out of 10. Here is the master bedroom, nice white and bright. We love it. And a wide open area for the kitchen. Uh, I don't see a bedroom for the Todd's on the first floor, which is a bit of a bummer, I will say. Looks like the Todd room and the baby room are on the second floor. That feels kind of like a lot for my kids just because it's easier for them to get food. Let's do it. The Farmhouse Baby Factory. I am excited to see. You know, maybe Casey wants to end her days at a farm. I mean, this is very likely Casey's last home. You know what, I don't wanna think about that. So here's a farmhouse. We got a little pond over here. It's actually a pool that you tried to make into a pond. I see you trying to sneak your pool in. We walk in, we got the living area, Casey's office, Casey's bedroom with closet and area for her baby's bathroom here with a jacuzzi. I love that so many of you guys are giving Casey a jacuzzi because she needs to treat herself like the queen she is. Some yellow chairs, we got a nice, Nice kitchen, really like that. Okay, and then we'll go upstairs. Oh, a little puppet theater. We got a teen room, kid room, now the kids room, some bathrooms, a little study area here, uh, and more kids stuff and bathrooms. Very solid build, very good job. Love that exterior of it, couldn't be better. Okay, here is an, our second farm. Let's farm some babies. I think this was the one that was very expensive. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, it's huge. Okay, I see you. This is nuts. This is truly wacky. Camping area, the kids play area, more farmland than I could probably figure out. Let's go into the front. We got a master staircase in the front. Off the side, we have the living room. It's a lot more dark in this home. It feels like a lot less natural light. We got the kitchen, Todd room, playroom, bathroom. We'll go up a floor. We've got the baby room, very cool jacuzzi, a hot tub on the second floor. We go upstairs again, and we got little rooms for everybody. They all have their own individual rooms, bathroom. And then let's see what, what's going on out here in this area. It looks like we've got uh, just an activity place. It looks a little dark in here, not gonna lie. It's a beautiful build though, what a cool build. You should be really proud. Okay, let's look at Casey's Hollywood Mansion. This sounds promising for sure. Whoa, this one's also quite big. Wow, it's got a pond, lots and lots of greenery. We stand some greenery. We got a farm area over here, pool. I think this is a dance floor. So plenty of room for parties. Just that live in that Malibu celebrity lifestyle. Balcony with like a TV watching area and a bar. All right, so we walk in, we got the living room, very light and bright with a lot of yellow pops. Then over here, we've got her kind of workspace and creative room, a little lounge area back here. Another, oh, it's the baby room in the back underneath the stairs. Keep them under the stairs. Looks like Todd's our second floor and there's not a ton of room for the Todd's on the first floor. That's kind of a thing that functionally, I don't know. And then we go up another floor and we got Casey's master. Very cool if you're like wanting space away, but a little difficult when she's trying to take care of the babies who are, I think are on the first floor. Very good build though, but I think functionally we're looking for something that might fit Casey's lifestyle a little bit better. All right, now we're on to the fine family home. Very cute curb appeal. You guys are just crushing it. This is a little bird feeder. I didn't even know that existed in The Sims. How cute. I love that even though I've been playing for years, I can still find things that surprise me. We got a kid's play area, hot tub, plenty of places for the kids to go and get out of Casey's hair outside. Love that for her. Oh, very interesting. Chewy, would you? <laughs> Sorry, but I, working at home includes dogs sometimes. This little man is wanting some attention. Look at that face. I gotta finish looking at houses and then we can play. I'm gonna just ignore him until he goes and lays down. Go lay down, Chewy. 
<laughs> my heart just broke. What an interesting build. We have not seen anything with like kind of a downstairs floor area. So that's cool. So this is like a little, I guess, living room. Whoa, back to back living area here with a fireplace, a bunch of like really kind of uniform, but cute living spaces for the kids. I kind of like that they're all kind of similar, uh, but in different colors, very creative. Casey's workroom, her master bedroom and bathroom. I definitely think this is like a really interesting build. I don't know if it's Casey's style home decor, but I think it's a really cool one. So thank you so much. Okay, it's baby factory reloaded. We've got a really cool modern look. Ooh, got a basketball court and some bikes. Ooh, a fish tank, a little play pool for the kiddos. All right, so we first walk in, we have stairs on the right, and then the dining on the left with like a little seating area. We got a kitchen, nice and spacious and big. Ooh, such a cute little room for the tods. I love that there's like just kid stuff everywhere. This is, looks like someone kind of destroyed it with homework and stuff, very cute. A little bathroom. I like that it's like modern and fun. Oh my gosh, love this room. I'd live in that room. The baby room and her master bedroom are all in one, uh, but it's very fashiony and cute. And then up on the top, we got a nice home gym. I think this is a really strong build. I really like this a lot, actually. It feels pretty spread out, so it's easy to like kind of roll through while my gameplay is going and I'd be able to see everything that's happening, which is a, a, a thing that I kind of look for. And I think it's just really creative. Baby Factory Reloaded, I really liked it. We're like almost done with all of the walkthroughs of all the homes that we favorited. Love, love, baby love house. <laughs> Let's put it down, let's check it out, let's see what it's all about. Ooh, I love that so many of you have been incorporating a lot of glass. I think that's cool. Ooh, we got some gnomes. It's got personality. A very romantic spot over here for some baby making. A ball of pool, like a pool of, of, of play balls, a ball pool, a ball pit, a ball pit. We have a ball pit. Ooh, you walk in, very cute colorful opening doorway. I love that the, the yellow is kind of the pop of color here. We've got a workout activity space, Todd room with a Todd playroom attached and a potty room. Casey's workout room also has like her office like above it, which is kind of a cool vibe. Very creative. Acting room, maybe for my acting daughter. Oh wait, no, this is Casey's room. Okay, so this is where Casey could do her makeup. She got a place for, for the babies to go. Nice kids areas. Very nice, strong build and an upstairs garden on the top. I think this is a really cool build. I think if anything, it feels like the living room is a little small for my big family. This is hard. I'm having to look for things that aren't perfect because there's too many really great builds. Wow, this one's so petite and really cute. I love the flowers outside. You did a great job. Ooh, so many wraparound porches. Upstairs, hot tub, little kids area in the backyard. Oh, wow. It's compact, but I feel like there's a lot going on. So let's see. So it looks like there's a gated water feature right here so that no one can actually get in. It's just cute, which I like. Zen workout area, very cute. Oh, a kid's like movie room, Baby Yoda. I really do think I need a Baby Yoda in whatever home we end up in. First floor, we got, wow, living room. Very open floor plan up here, which I really like. We got the living room with this really cool record player. And then we got Casey's room with like a little place to put the babies en suite. I love the colors in Casey's room. She even has her work area behind her bed. I think this is a really great build. I think if it was a little spread out more and not so compact, I think it would be perfect. It'd be hard for me to kind of like move around the space smoothly and, and see everything. Um, that would definitely be a big contender if it weren't so, so small. All right, lastly, the greenhouse. Whoa, there's so much green. Wow, wow. Oh my gosh, it's all windows. Super creative and unique. Very open floor plan. We got like dining, living room. All, I love this yellow. Over here we got Casey's master. I like how spacious it is. This is where the babies go. They're kind of in this weird glass box. All the bedrooms have like very distinct and different personalities, which is very cool. And a lot of um, places for them to study. I'm in our upstairs. Whoa, then we've got the activity space. I think it's a, a really strong build. 
but I think interior wise for the decor, I think I'm looking for a little bit, a little bit more. It seems a little sparse sometimes. It, it is an open flare pen, which I really like, but it does feel a little, a little sparse for me. And that is our final home. So which home has win my heart? I honestly feel like the Baby Factory Reloaded has all the things that I want, a lot of personality, really cute builds, really easy to move around, pretty spacious, but still very homey. I think that's what we're gonna go for. All right, I think the Baby Factory Reloaded is gonna go here on this island. The Impeachment Schmidt family is upgrading. They're gonna live on an island now. I think this is cool. They're still living in Windenburg. Uh, we didn't change that much up, but it's gonna be sad moving out of the old house. Oh, I love this home. It's a great house. This house truly was a home to us. Okay, what are we gonna put in our inventory? We're gonna put that in. Obviously we have to take all of our birth certificates down. All one, two, three. Still going. So many birth certificates. What if I like forgot one? That would be just dramatic. Great, okay. I think the gnomes have gotten a little intense. So I'm just gonna grab my favorites. I like this little Nakey gnome, he's pretty funny. Oh yeah, we've obviously gotta grab our memorials. Chelsea's moving too, and so is Harry. Wow, I think that's about it. I think that's all we need to move. All right, it's time for the big move, Casey. You're moving up to your new modern home. I think it's the right move. <laughs> Get it? R move pun. The baby factory reloaded. We are moved in. Oh yeah, this is definitely a really cool home. They're all running inside. This is fabulous. Oh my gosh, so cute. She's already just really settling in and she's really matching the vibe in here. I wanna see what she's first going. Oh, she's first going into her bedroom. Oh my gosh, she's checking it out. Oh, she's just going straight to her bed. She already knew it was hers. I didn't even like assign it to her. This is cute. So I think this is where I'm gonna leave it. Thank you guys so much for submitting all of your homes. The next time we will be looking through some baby daddies, the potential partners for Casey. Uh, so I'm very excited to check those out. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next Saturday. Bye. Hey everybody, thank you so much for watching the 100 Baby Challenge. If you're interested, make sure to hit that subscribe button, leave a like or check out some of our other videos.